Hello everyone. So this is another important uh, uh, session in which I'm going to take you through uh, how baby is latched uh, in a live mode. Okay. So uh, I'm going to show you some video clips. So that way you, you know, obviously I taught you on breast model and the doll, but I also wanted to kind of teach you all uh, exactly how baby latches on. Uh, on uh, you know, on real real babies actually. So here is the first one. Here I want to show you what happens when the baby latches on the nipple versus what happens when the baby latches on the areola. Okay, really good uh, uh, video. Here see here, basically the pressure is only on the nipple, hardly any milk comes and here the pressure is coming on areola. Okay. So uh, obviously you can see the amount of milk which is uh, passing on is you know much more, the milk transfer is much more. Okay, this is a very powerful uh, video and uh, what I've experienced okay. in uh, all these areas that I work in, that predominantly mothers are latching on baby or just on nipple. So that nipple latch is not uh, doing good to uh, milk transfer. So we have to really kind of work hard on uh, getting that lower area latch because with lower area latch what will happen, the baby will press on with the lower jaw, uh, those ducts which are present beneath the, uh, you know, uh, areola. And then immediately you will start seeing uh, good weight gain just in a couple of days, you know, once uh, uh, all that uh, milk starts coming coming in you will just start seeing amazing weight gain and here uh, even in US you know I've seen uh, by day three day four children are gaining almost 40 to 50 grams a day you know so uh, and obviously because here in in India I work in the community so by the time baby comes home and then we train mothers of course many mothers are taught during pregnancy club but when they come back uh, you know we start training them again on uh, you know on the live baby uh, so it takes a little little more time and effort but if you have access to pregnant mothers start training them on uh, deep attachment of areola uh, right from last trimester because that will really help them to uh, you know uh, kind of uh, do well when the baby is born and you will not see a lot of uh, weight loss even in uh, low birth baby say up to 2000 uh, gram you know they gained really good amount of weight so focus on the low areola latch big mouth you know at least i would say you know uh, 120 degree minimum that's what uh, our experience has been uh, and then you know just have that deep attachment and a very basically make sure that you bring the baby very close to the breast so the lips and the uh, chin chin are not visible okay so that's what uh, i recommend now this is another uh, video where basically here a doctor is helping the mother uh, of course, look at, look at uh, uh, doctor's uh, kind of fingers, you know, uh, she has put her fingers parallel to baby's lips, okay. Of course, the U is coming from top because doctor is helping, you know, so it's much easier for a doctor to kind of press uh, U-shape from the top, okay. Uh, when the baby was coming on the breast, you, you could see that the uh, there was a good extension of the neck, so the neck was ex extended very well. Now in this, what I, I would have done, and if you look at the nipple, nipple is retractile, okay. So that nipple is, uh, you know, even though nipple is retractile, baby has such beautiful attachment. I would at least check one more time, you know, over here, say near the uh, lower lip, and I would have pressed it to make sure that the uh, a good amount of uh, areola it looks definitely it shows at good amount of and you can see that the hardly uh, lips are not vis visible you know uh, chin is not visible so baby is really kind of good has good deep attachment okay, now baby is already kind of here again look at it you know so what doctor is doing is creating a bite okay and in that bite over here you know uh, near uh, thumb uh, basically uh, so this particular bite will go in baby's mouth so there's a good amount of you know lower uh, going in the mouth okay so i'm going to show you one more time look at the nipple is kind of uh, uh, retractile so you don't need to use nipple shield you don't need to use uh, anything you know that uh, here again one more thing see how they're waiting for baby to open the mouth so once baby opens a big mouth, look at that, beautiful. 
okay so please understand that don't use nipple shield you don't need it just make a bite make a bite in a way make sure your fingers are parallel to baby's lips and uh, they all latch beautifully okay of course it's a lot of effort okay uh, here doctor is helping uh, i would recommend that mother should take this baby in a cross baby hold and she should try it from underneath because eventually after going home she is going to do it not not the doctor or the or, or whoever you know so uh, make sure that you know you you send the mother home only after she understand how to hold the baby how to press the breast how to latch the baby because unless you do that uh, you know you cannot send the baby home this baby then you know if, if latching is not good and if mother cannot uh, breastfeed and, and you do not expect mother to get rid of nipple shield and learn this okay you you teach them as lactation consultant as, as you know uh, expert you teach mother how to hold the breast even if there's a retractile and flat nipple and you teach mother how to check the latch you know uh, you do not expect you cannot take a shortcut of putting a nipple shield in the hospital and then expect mother to take out the nipple shield and learn on her own okay that's a shortcut so that's a big no all right okay so let's see the other one here i want to show you some pros and cons also of a lot of this uh, positions and this thing so here what is happening the the position of the baby so when you're observing you want to look at the position of the baby so in, in this the position of the baby is not good okay look at the ears the shoulder joint should have been here okay uh, in the line with uh, your pinna you know uh, uh, with your ears but here the uh, shoulder joint is here in the back that means the uh, body is twisted okay so this position is uh, i i this is a wrong position what i would do is to just basically rotate the body so that the uh, shoulder joint would be here somewhere okay the body is completely should be facing uh, the breast or, or the mother's chest okay so that's important one more time look at this the body is twisted okay so before i even look at the latch i would look at the position of the baby the position of the baby is not good you know that baby will have difficulty kind of swallowing okay so here what uh, again uh, healthcare worker is doing is kind of uh, pressing it on the on the breast to look at the latch okay so they are here this is the examination of the latch that they are looking at okay all right so let's see the other one this is another very good video okay so here you can see uh, the lower ella is in the mouth okay it's pretty much look at the border uh, the lower lip is at the border upper ella is outside but the problem is you can see still there is little bit of uh, uh, dimpling happening this was because even though lower ella latch was there uh, you know baby was too far from the breast okay so again i'm going to show you okay yeah so the good amount of lower ella is there okay just because here you can see a little bit of kind of you know cheeks going inside and uh, that's why you know remember i told you in my uh, kind of presentation that there are three reasons why children get a little bit of uh, kind of dimpling uh, or you know cheeks do not uh, kind of uh, full up is uh, one is nipple latch second is upper inner latch third is your uh, if baby's too far from the breast okay so in this immediately the correction was done okay so good amount of lower ella latch upper ella is outside okay uh, good size mouth okay uh, i would have preferred a little bit bigger but this is because baby's too far so when you bring the baby too close uh, very close you know immediately the mouth opens up because then more amount of ella is going into the mouth right so it it opens up so a uh, lot of time uh, just remember it's not just the chin which should be embedded into the breast but also the lips lips should not be visible okay all right uh, let's see this one this is another very good video okay now here again uh, just have a look uh, what i recommend this mothers the way she is holding the u shape uh, it's not uh, correct because it's too close to baby's chin okay and that will block a uh, uh, baby's jaw movement so i would put this uh, kind of uh, you know fingers mother's fingers a little bit down okay but you also saw that the uh, the body was rotated okay so when the body was rotated obviously that uh, baby's chest was kind of further away from mother's chest so what the healthcare worker did basically pushed the baby uh, rotated the baby more towards the mother 
okay uh, third point which is kind of uh, negative in this is look at baby's neck baby's neck is kind of bent forward okay uh, this is because what has happened that uh, baby is brought with direct uh, with the nose kind of higher up uh, then the nipple, uh, then uh, you know, bringing the nose lower than the nipple or in the line with the nipple. So here, what is happening? Because the nose is higher up than the nipple, a baby has to kind of bend forward. Okay. So here, look at this. This neck is bent forward. So in this case, what I would do is to bring this baby, pull this baby more towards the other breast, so that you know, baby has to reach to to the breast. You know. So here, I would a few things I would do. I would delatch the baby. Okay, I would tell mother to hold the breast properly. Look at this here, you know, baby's uh, mother's fingers are coming in the way. You know, this is not how it should be. You should not have the full finger on the breast. It should be only tip tip of the finger, not the whole, not not holding the whole uh, uh, breast with the, uh, with the whole finger, but just a tip. Okay, so that way your fingers don't come in the way. Okay, uh, then I would bring the baby so that the nose, the nail, of the uh, nose is in the line with the nipple okay and then I would basically uh, wait for baby to open the big mouth okay I would extend the neck a little bit and then bring rotate this uh, body completely towards the mother okay so again I'm, I'm going to show you one more time And see, once you did that, you saw the lips and the chin, it has gone completely embedded. But even in this situation, I would examine the latch, you know, and I would uh, look at the latch to see if uh, a good amount of lower um, has gone in the mouth and the baby's mouth is at least 120 degrees. Okay. Uh, one more thing I would do is that once baby latches on uh, very well, mother does not have to keep holding the breast. Mother can immediately remove the hand from the breast and bring that hand around the baby. Okay, so that is important that, uh, you know, you don't need to keep holding the breast. Yes, if the breast is very heavy and if it keeps slipping from the uh, breast, then what you can do, as I told you in my previous uh, session, to uh, to bring the uh, hand out and then support that breast with the, with the uh, elbow joint. Okay, so you can do that. But otherwise, um, you know, uh, you don't need to keep holding the breast. Make sure that the cross griddle... Uh, a position that hold uh, should not come off okay so that uh, that hand should not come off the come off the neck okay so that's important okay now here's another one okay this is a cross cradle hold look at the extension of the neck okay now what we're doing is to examining the uh, latch so low so look at the lower lip it's at the border of areola upper areola is completely outside okay so this is uh, examination of the latch extremely important not only you have to examine but you have to teach mother how she should examine herself to look at the latch every time okay Th that she needs just maybe first two three weeks because she has to know how the latch should be right uh, what I'm looking at in the latch, the size of the mouth, okay, like the opening of the mouth, so 120 degree minimum. Then I'm also looking at the lower lip at the border. If the, if the areola is very small, then I recommend to have the lower lip at the uh, breast, okay. And uh, again, you know, looking also looking at if the lower lip is kind of curled outward or not. And, you know, also, uh, we don't want to see lips and chin at all. So, once you finish checking the la uh, latch, you just tell mother to push the baby more into the breast, okay? So, that we don't see uh, lips and uh, chin at all, okay? This is the sideline hole. <laughs> Okay, so here uh, look at the neck of the baby it's extended beautifully. That means baby is kind of pulled a little bit uh, downward. Okay, so the baby has to extend the neck to reach the breast. Okay, and uh, one more time. Look at this. <laughs> 
नहीं देख रहा वजह यानी जो चोस की मीट है ये सकिंग में फटोफट करे वो ना चीज बराबर Now what I would do in this case, I would teach the mother. Uh, I would tell mother to kind of completely, uh, you know, uh, rotate towards the baby, and then with that, uh, this hand, I would ask mother to hold the baby even closer so that uh, lips and chin are not visible, uh, and then she can uh, breastfeed. Okay, so that too, you know, I mean, obviously, we want to teach mothers, and we want to do everything, you know. But before she goes home, you want to make sure that mother is doing everything. You are just examining and watching and seeing her whether she is doing correctly or not. Because if we keep doing, I mean, we have this habit, you know. Once we get into this. uh the training mode you know we want to keep holding the baby we want to hold the breast we want to do everything but you know of course while you're learning you can do all that stuff but once you know uh you want to empower mother so make sure that everything mother knows what to do so that she can do it after going home okay so here is another one again this is examination of the latch okay Uh, looking at look at the extension of the neck, beautiful extension of the neck. I would still recommend a little bit more extension, you know, uh, if possible. But uh, again, you know, see because the area is small, then both the upper and lower area is in the mouth. But I would still prefer to bring this baby down a little bit and have the upper lip just at the upper border of nipple. you know because see here uh, if you look at it this upper part of areola is not moving at all do you see right the upper part is not moving at all basically, basically what baby is doing is baby is trying to press the uh, lower lip with the lower jaw so the amount of areola which is near the lower jaw uh, if we can give access to that to the baby there will be lot of pressure okay uh, all right so let's see the other one one for this So there are few issues in this. Uh, okay, I want to show you some uh, positive and some negatives uh, in this uh, video so that you understand uh, where the issues come. Right. So here, if you look at it, basically, uh, if you look at the mouth, it's about ninety degree. Okay, so mouth is not very big. It should be a little bit bigger than that. But what has happened? That uh, look at the. Uh, so here, here is your angle of the jaw, angle of the mouth. right and look at the upper ella going in the mouth huge amount of upper ella going into the mouth the lower ella is like you know very little amount of lower ella is gone in the mouth okay so what i would do and also the neck is little bit flexed so if you look at it neck bit neck is little bit kind of bending forward okay so in this position what i would do i would bring the baby i would not remove the latch so much uh, and also another thing what i would do you can see is the lips are visible chin is visible that means baby is too far so in this position what i would do is i would just bring the baby pull the baby towards other breast or pull it pull the baby down towards other breast okay so that baby is uh, kind of angle shift and then then you push the baby more into the breast so automatically more areola will go in the mouth and the mouth will open up okay so i would not delatch this baby i would not remove the latch and then uh, relatch again i would just basically kind of adjust the position of the baby so that there is more of extension of the neck and more of the lower areola going in the mouth okay so here look at this look at the uh, it's basically predominantly baby is just you know and look at the dimple do you see this dimple right the dimple is happening again because of the upper areola is more in the tone the mouth the baby is too far See, there is no fullness of. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is this is called dimpling. If you see dimpling, then there is definitely an issue. You need to work on the problem that why baby is having dimple. Fix it, and you will see the results. Okay, all right. So here is another one. This is baby is coming from the top. Okay. Look at the mouth. Look at the size. Look at this beautiful, more than 120 degree. But still, but there is a dimple. Do you see over here? There is a dimple. Okay. Uh, why? Again, because more of the upper area is in the mouth. Okay. So what I would do? And look at the neck of the baby. Neck of the baby is flexed. It's flexed like this. Okay. We will not be able to uh, swallow for too long. Try to flex your neck. Try to put your neck forward and drink But water. You will have one or two sips and you will not get tired, right? So here also try to make sure that 
the neck is not flexed so even in a breast crawl try to keep the head of the baby lower than the breast okay so that baby tries to reach and have a, a little bit of extension okay so one more time look at this and as because baby is too high up the nose is getting pressed right if baby was lower than that you know the neck would have been extended and the neck would have been closed okay so here it is this is this is a lovely video okay here another one so here basically the whole amount of gorilla is there okay only uh, the neck, neck is slightly kind of bent forward so i would pull the baby a little bit down but here the lips and chin are visible okay so in this case what i would do is to i would just tell mother to press this baby more inside the breast take it more kind of have a deep attachment take baby closer okay the mouth should be completely embedded into breast and those baby gain a lot of weight okay all right okay here also you can see first thing i see is like the, there is little bit of uh, uh, you know uh, kind of dimpling you see there is not fully okay because in this case also what has happened baby has more of a upper line in the mouth see lot more upper line so it's baby is pushing you know has put, putting the pressure but because lot lot more upper line in the mouth you know are you seeing the dimpling the dimpling is what's happening you can also see again here also there's a little bit of dimpling there's no fullness because again you know more of a upper lies in the mouth okay uh, i would push a little bit more i would i would in fact pull the baby uh, lower and i would push the baby more into baby's uh, mother's breast okay here because i can see lips i can see chin i can see everything this is this, this baby is too far and that's why baby is kind of see you can see baby is kind of making that noise uh, because baby is hungry but not getting a good amount of milk transfer okay so this is what uh, i would do okay here are another a very good nice video. Yeah. Okay. So if you'd like to do cross, so if you'd like to do cross, place your hand supporting your breath, supporting your breath. Big sister is gonna help us. Remember that other hand of the baby just, should be just below the breast. Just like the breast. Okay. It should be up, like below and around the breast. Wait for him to open the eye. See how how what we're doing is basically kind of stimulating the upper lip. Okay. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. Let's clean it off because I wasn't thinking about it. Could have been and he says also. Could have been and he says also. Rubbing up slowly, slowly, slowly. Only thing is because the breast is not held properly, you know, that's why they are having difficulty. If you hold the breast properly with both uh, kind of uh, fingers parallel to upper lip and the lower lip, then the latch would be really good. Here I would still check the latch. So here once the baby latches on, I would still press it over here and look at whether the uh, lower lip in the mouth. Just by looking at it, you will not be able to know because many times when the baby is very closely attached to the mother, uh, sometimes the mouth is very small and they're still sucking on the nipple but you cannot make out so you have to examine the latch okay so that in this case you know the uh, of course look at the uh, the chest is facing upward so the neck is rotated so i would bring the baby i would rotate the baby here you know this is a cradle hold uh, mother is uh, kind of holding in a c shape uh, there's a lot of dimpling over here you can see the dimple of the baby okay. yeah but there's a dimpling over here okay so that means the latch is not uh, not good okay see the other one these so are pretty much your babies, of course, local food babies, you know. Uh, this neck is too hyperextended. We don't want so much hyperextension in the neck, okay. And uh, so you can see more of operilla going into the mouth, okay. You see even in the mouth is not that, uh, you know, it should be a little bit bigger. And you can see the lips and the chin, 
so you know we need to kind of relatch this baby okay because look at the lower lies and outside the mouth and full upper lies in the mouth okay so this baby will not have a good transfer this baby is only nipple feeding you can see it it's a mouth is extremely so small only 45 degree okay it's just a nipple feeding here look at this one baby's body is twisted so the chest is facing up the chest should be facing the mother okay look at this this hand over here on the this other hand of the baby you know it's coming in the way so this hand should be underneath the breast okay baby should be completely rotated the neck is also flexed the neck is flexed and you see it's like uh, you know uh, the lower lid is pretty much outside you can see it right uh, and you know uh, i would relatch this baby right so the position is wrong uh, latching is not uh, necessarily good you know uh, mouth is big uh, so once you basically kind of you know put the baby in a proper position and then make sure that the neck should be extended so don't bring the baby with nose very high up okay this is of course baby is completely rotated okay uh, upper lies outside upper lies in the mouth okay obviously we need to not bring it so the position is not correct okay here uh, again more of upper lies in the mouth right look at the neck of the baby flexed like this flex forward you know bent forward so here the lower lies outside and the upper lies in the mouth okay so uh, and also the way baby is brought uh, it's wrong okay all right Here, yeah, this is a premature baby. This is what I see all the time in the field. You know, uh, mother holds a baby in a cradle hold, no proper neck support. Okay. Here, uh, yeah. see the nose is much higher up than the nipple, right over here. Right. Mother is holding the breast improper, uh, incorrectly. Right. What she's doing, uh, she's holding her fingers not parallel now, okay, now it's a bit parallel, but now she's trying to put lot more upper air in the mouth. You see how difficult it is for mother to latch the baby because she cannot control the neck, you know. She cannot control the way she's holding the breast. She's making the breast kind of long, okay. When the breast is long like this, how will you have the lower air in the mouth? It's like you know holding a burger like this. We cannot have have anything which you hold. A, you can't eat the food like this and a big bite. You have to have a finger parallel to lips. Okay. So here in this position, uh, these fingers are not parallel to lips. Actually, I would put one finger over here. Okay. Right at. Uh, another thing is baby is kind of oblique. You don't want to keep the baby diagonal. You know, you keep the baby absolutely straight. Okay. So that the lips are at. Uh, Nine o'clock position and the lower lip at the. Okay, here see, look at this. There's only a uh, nipple going into the mouth. Okay, so that's wrong. Here is your another one. Again, uh, same thing. You know, you can see that the lower lip is ending over here. The full lower lip is outside. More of upper lip in the mouth. Right. Uh, baby's kind of uh, position is rotated. Okay. Uh, baby needs to be more closer to the mother. Okay, and look at where mother is holding the breast. She's holding it. She's making this long. So when you have this, it's it, it's so longitudinal. It's so long that obviously you will not have. You will have only nipple going into the mouth. I would have put that finger over here, but this is again it's a cradle hold. And look at baby's neck. Baby's looking like that. Okay. So again, like that's why I prefer cross cradle hold because in cross cradle hold you can control the neck. You can have the extension of the neck. You can hold the breast correctly. You know, with fingers parallel to lips. You know, because it's just the issues that I faced and. First five years, no wonder I was not getting results because I was I was showing the same way, you know. So anyway, here there is one clip I have for cleft lip, you know. Uh, to to be frank, I've not seen too many cleft lip cleft palate patients, so I don't have much experience in it. But you know, here one of the colleague had uh, shared this clip, and it's really nice. This is kind of a saddle of a horse shape, saddle position, saddle of a horse. The baby sitting on uh, mother's lap. 
Okay, like a, you know how you sit on the floor to, to the split standing mm -hmm. position. And then what mm -hmm. she's doing is basically uh, she's doing perfect action. You know, her lips, her fingers are parallel to baby's lips. Okay, see there's a beautiful support. Okay, uh, a neck support. Okay, and then there's an extension of the neck. So what she's doing, she's trying to press the breast, and she, the baby has a hole over there. So she's trying to kind of uh, you know put that uh, uh, breast in that hole so that baby can get a seal. You need to have a seal, okay, uh, to create that suction. Okay? So when you don't have a seal, you will not be able, you will not be able to create the suction. Okay? So here with the help of breast, she is basically closing the gap. Okay? And this is a beautiful position for the gap of that family. Okay? So you definitely try it and uh, do kind of uh, kind of have a video so that we can see uh, how it is.